Hi, I'm Mackenzie, and I haven't made an Amikinder video yet because I didn't know it existed until like three minutes ago when I saw um, on Facebook, because I'm friends with most of the CB kids on Facebook already, that, um, I don't know, somebody was talking about it, somebody was posting something, and then I was like, hey, I'm going to look that up, and then I looked it up, and I was like, hey, this exists. So now I'm super excited to be a part of that. And then I asked Matt for the password and Matt's like, Matt knows everything. I think we all know that Matt knows everything. <laughs> I think he's the most involved AFSer of all time. He should get he should get like a crown and a sash perhaps that says most involved or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll make that for him. But um, yeah, I actually told Matt too about my kind of interesting family situation that I'll talk to you guys about. I don't know if this, I don't know if this happens often or if it's just me, but um, my host family is actually moving to Düsseldorf, which is interesting to say the least for me because I'm staying now in Leipzig and that's in East Germany. This is East Germany in my map of Germany that I have here. And then Dusseldorf is here, complete opposite side. And my host family told me, oh yeah, it'll be so much easier for you to make friends. And I don't know, um, my host family, according to my host family, there's a huge difference between East German culture and West German culture. And I know there aren't a lot of Americans, or there aren't a lot, of, there are more exchange students hosted in the West than in the East. But maybe that would be interesting for us to talk about like differences between East and West. Apparently they were more friendly in the West, but um, I decided to stay here. So that means I have to get a new host family. And it was kind of, the bummer part is that they're moving in February, which is in the middle of the year. And then, yeah, so I was like, okay. Nein danke, aber ich komme nicht mit. So yeah, German is like, the most hard language of all time and I came here with no German more like I came here with like hello wie geht's that's what I came here with but I've learned so much and then like the first I, I can find that I can actually understand stuff like at in Skino in the movie theater when I watch movies with my friends I can understand a good chunk now and that's really cool um, but for the first month, it was, like, totally over my head. Like, I couldn't even talk to people. I couldn't understand a thing. And then, Lauren, I know you talked about, um, school. And I'm actually, this is my junior year that I'm here, so my grades count, too. And they're going to my GPA. But that that's kind of, that kind of is sucky. And it's not like I can really study because I can't understand anything that's going on. So right now I'm just kind of, like, chilling and then in math I do stuff in Spanish I do stuff but that's also I don't know if anyone else is taking on um, foreign language but that's really totally difficult because it's like you're learning a language I've had Spanish for eight years in school so I'm pretty good at Spanish but now like when I start speaking Spanish in class it like turns into this weird mixture of German and then I'm thinking in English and exchange can kind of mess your brain up that's what I've determined but yeah Shula Foutset who else has that I made notes just so you know <laughs> but um Shula Foutset is kind of creepy I think because you know how you can you can see like who's looked at your page which is kind of that's what I like about Facebook is that you can stalk anonymous anonymously and then people can stalk you anonymously and it's not so like creepy so I have like all these people that aren't even my friends that have seen my page so I don't really get it Facebook is so much easier for me I guess but um how is everybody making friends and is anybody else's host family moving <laughs> or yeah I don't know is that just me um what are people doing in their free time I'm actually um I started an English AG so like a club for people who want to speak English because I've noticed that I can make friends by speaking English to people because they like that and they like learning bad words and stuff. So I'm starting an English Agi in my school and then I visit on um, the elderly hospital. There's an elderly man that I'm visiting named Herr Riedel and he's like, he was in World War II and he's almost 90 and we have some really intense live discussions and then he tries to speak English with me, which is really cool. And then he gave me this. 
um, essay that he wrote that ca that's um, called Von Sinn des Lebens. So basically, like, he gave me an essay that he wrote about the meaning of life. So I am stoked to understand German and then read this and then figure out the meaning of life. So yeah, what do you guys miss most about the US too? That's what I was wondering. I miss high school, not gonna lie, and like clubs and I don't know, like this is really stereotypical, but like football games and like spirit week and stuff like that. I miss that. I miss that good old American school spirit. And how's the weather? Here it's like mad rainy and cold, but I think that's überall in Deutschland, oder? But yeah, so peace out. Yo.